Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you are doing well today. We just got home from walking the pups. Yes, we did. It is a glorious day. Look outside. You see all that sun shining through the windows? Healer's like, ooh, I'm just sunbathing my booty like a husky cutie. Now today we are going to be going over how to train a rescue husky. Now a lot of my viewers are rescuing their Siberian huskies and bringing them home, which good on you. That is the coolest thing in the world that you can do. But frankly, the differences between training a brand new baby eight week old pup and training a rescued husky that could be of any age, they're two different challenges that are completely different. They breed completely different outcomes. You have to use completely different strategies. So today, that is what we are talking about. We are going to equip you with the ways to teach a rescue husky how to do all sorts of things. Three, in fact, we're going to teach your brand new rescue husky how to A, learn its brand new name, B, use the potty, 3, B, crate trained. So come with me, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we find out how to train a rescued Siberian husky. Let's go! So, okay, let's talk. You just went ahead and got yourself a Siberian Husky. You decided, hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rescue one instead of spend all that cash and going and getting one. Good on you, because you just saved a life, my friend, and that's the best thing that you could do. But you're probably asking yourself, how do I train this dog? This dog isn't a puppy. It's already been through a whole bunch of stuff. Is it impossible to train this dog? Is this dog set in its ways? One of the biggest questions I have is that, hey, my dog is nine years old, my dog is four years old, are they untrainable? Is it too late since they're not a puppy anymore? It is never too late to train a Siberian Husky. They can always be trained no matter the age. It just takes your dedication and time. And with that said, we can train your Siberian Husky, your rescue pup, anything you want to train it. But the number one thing I suggest you train it is its new name, because chances are when you pick up a rescue Husky, its name is probably gonna be Arctic or Chocolate or Brewster or Paul or something really crazy like that. And you're probably going to want to change your doggo's name, no matter what it is at the rescue place. So when you come home with your brand new pup, it's probably not going to respond to anything you say because you're probably going to be like, hey, Nordic, Nordic, or whatever you call your new dog, and it's not going to come. How do you teach your brand new rescue husky to come when called. Now see, this is not an issue that a lot of people deal with when they buy Huskies from a really little age because little pups tend to just follow you anywhere anyways. So what happens with that is you often just call them by a name that they become accustomed to anyways. With rescues, they've been called a bunch of different things in their lives. So it's up to you to make sure that your doggo knows exactly what their name is. To do that, we are going to go over the very first trick, which is to teach your rescue husky what their name is. So let's go ahead and get into those tricks now. All right, so the first thing you need to do is grab yourself some high value treats. Maybe turkey is something you got in the fridge and that always works really, really well. But if you don't want to use turkey, you can go ahead, go to the dog store and pick up any grain free treat that you can find. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your rescue husky, you're gonna take your treat, okay? And you're going to put it up to your face and you're going to say whatever your Husky's name is. Now, whatever you want to name your Husky, let's say we're going to teach Britney Spears here that his new name is Jimmy. So we're gonna say, Jimmy, Jimmy, good boy, good boy. Whenever your dog puts focus on your eyes, you're going to reward them. Jimmy, that's Jimmy, good boy, that's Jimmy. Now, put the treat behind your back, Jimmy, good boy, good boy. See, whenever you get his attention, whenever they focus their attention on you, when you are saying their name, you are going to reward that behavior. These are the first steps you're going to take in teaching your dog what their new name is. Now, we don't wanna confuse Britney Spears and teach him that his name is something new, so we're only gonna do this one more time just to show you an example, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna show them the treat, right? And we're gonna say, Jimmy. And then we're gonna take it away, we're gonna put it behind our back, Wait for them to lose a little bit of interest. Jimmy, good boy, 
Good boy. See how he gave me his direct focus right there when I said Jimmy? That's exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for them to break attention. You want them to know that you have a treat because you want them to be focused on you, right? But they're going to inevitably lose attention. Even if I sat right here with the treat in my hand. But let's go ahead and put it behind our back one more time. Jimmy. Good boy, good boy. So that is exactly how you go about teaching your rescue husky what their brand new name is. You need to take time out of your day, practice this for about 15 minutes a day, just basically giving them treats every time they give you their undivided attention when you speak their name. Just practice that over and over. Eventually, they're going to understand really, really quickly, especially a husko, they're going to know, hey, that's my name, baby, and you and your brand new rescue husky are going to have a bond that is tighter than glue my friend kiss the pinky bro kiss the pink good boy now the next thing we are going to be talking about when it comes to your rescue husky is potty training now potty training is vastly different from potty training a siberian husky puppo of eight weeks old siberian husky puppies are infamously hard to potty train now maybe your husko comes upgraded with the house broken ability and if they do then that is super duper awesome you probably don't have to teach them how to get potty trained but if you do here are your tips on what to do when training your rescue husko, how to be house trained. When potty training a dog, it takes a lot of patience, right? You're going to have to keep going outside very, very often. You don't have to take a rescue husky outside as often as a puppy because puppies have little bladders and they basically have to go potty every one to two hours after every single meal and basically after every single nap session. But rescue huskies, since they may be a little bit older, Older, perhaps later on in their life, they won't have to go to the bathroom quite as often, but teaching them how to use the bathroom outside may be something that you are concerned about. So my tips for you are to do this. Make sure you get yourself a harness and a good leash and you take your husko out to the exact same spot every three to four hours. If you can't make it, that's okay, it's fine, but try to reinforce the fact that they go potty outside. <laughs> every three to four hours is a good time for a husky's bladder to fill up. When you take them out, wait, just stand there and wait until they use the restroom. Reward them with going back inside. See, some people bring their dogs in prematurely because they're like, well, I've waited outside for like, hmm, freckle past a hair, five minutes, so I guess it's time to go back inside. No, wait 15, 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, even if it's freezing cold outside. Wait for your dog to go to the restroom and then take them back inside. Now, if they haven't gone, if they clearly are not interested in it and it's been 30 minutes, it's fine to go back outside. Don't make yourself sick or anything if it's too cold, nothing like that. So let's say your rescue pup still won't go out to the bathroom and you've waited and you've waited and you take them inside and they immediately go to the bathroom on the ground. Your job here is to do this. Watch them like a hawk. Keep your eyes on them at all moments. And the second that they start doing their business, you better go over, grab them and take them outside and reinforce that that is where they go to the bathroom outside. You don't have to hit your dog. You don't need to smack your dog. Don't do that. Just grab them while they're doing their business. Say no in a very loud tone and then take them outside and wait for them to use the bathroom. You are going to have to put yourself through a little bit of misery if you want to correctly potty train your pup the right way. You are going to have to keep an eye on them. This is active duty on your pup, my friend. So make sure that you keep an eye on your dog. If you want to get that body training nipped in the bud, watch your dog. If they're not going to the bathroom outside, bring them back inside and watch them like an eagle. And the second that they go to the bathroom, you correct them. And the moment that they go to the potty outside, pretend like it unlocks the most happiest person inside of you. Do a dance, do a cartwheel, go crazy, put on a birthday hat and spin around and blow a kazoo. That is what is gonna make your doggo coming back for more poop time and pee time outdoors, I promise you. Now the very last thing is teaching your rescue husko how to be crate trained. Now if your husko is not crate trained by the time you rescue it, then this is an essential key element to having a husky. You wanna make sure they're always safe. People say, why 
why should you crate train your dog? Why should I lock them in a cage? Well, guess what? It keeps them safe when you can't supervise them. Also, when you have to go on a trip, maybe you pass away one day, maybe you're gone, or maybe something happens to you and you are sick and your dogs have to be moved, they need to know that it will be okay to be in a crate for a little bit. They need to be comfortable with that because you never know when you might have to put your husky on a plane. And if that happens, then they have to be in a crate. It's just a great thing to learn how to do. It's something vital you should teach your dog, especially if you have a puppy. But let's say you have a rescue and it doesn't know how to be crate trained yet in your house. It's screaming and crying. These are the steps that you can take to ease that pain, my brother. Good girl. Good girl. So go ahead and get yourself a crate. Now, everyone asks me, what size crate should I get? There are tons of sizes of crates. Just make sure it fits your dog's size. Basically, I like to let my dogs have enough space to turn around in their crate, and that's about it. You don't need the crate to be way too big, but you don't want the crate to be way too small. Why does this always happen? I ask myself all the time. You're a lady. He's a boy. It doesn't make any sense. I keep the Huskies crates in a separate room because both of them are crate trained, so they don't need to be out in the living room, but that might not be the case for you. Maybe your rescue Husky doesn't know how to stay in a crate without freaking out. So if that's the case, go ahead, take that crate and move it to the living room, the place where you spend the most amount of time. This is going to make your Husky feel a lot better. Now, what you're going to want to do if you're doing crate training exercises is at night when you decide to go to sleep or you decide it's time for sleep. Let's say you set the time for your dog to go to bed is at nine o'clock. Put your rescue husky in that crate at nine o'clock. And if you are in the living room at nine o'clock, let's say you're watching TV at nine o'clock, make sure that crate is right next to you in the living room. But make sure you stick to that time every single day. Dogs are animals of routine. If you're putting your dog in a crate for crate training every night at 9 p.m., go ahead and do it every single night. Now, a lot of people say one of the best things that helps their huskies get accustomed to being in a crate is to put a blanket over the crate. Now, this is very true. Putting a blanket over a crate helps them sometimes, but it depends on your puppo. If your dog seems stressed with a blanket over the crate, just remove the blanket. It is not necessary. But for some Huskies, it does make a world of difference. So I really don't recommend putting your crate in a completely separate room than wherever you are when doing the crate training process, unless you are professionally crate trained. What I mean by that is if your dog is a master at sitting in the crate, they never cry, they never howl, nothing like that, then it's time to put the crate in a completely different room from where you are. It's really important to not only keep that crate in every room that you go into, but also keep that crate open and accessible to the Husky at all times. So for example, if we're hanging out in here in the living room right now, the crate should be like right over there and you should keep the door open, make it comfortable, throw toys in there, and then at the end of the day when it's night, time, that's when they go in it and they hang out. Now, yes, I want to stress this point. When you crate train a dog, it is a very, very arduous journey. They are going to scream and cry. It's going to seem like you are killing them, but they really just want to be out of the crate and letting them out when they are screaming and crying is the number one worst thing that you can do in the world. I try to stress this as much as I can because letting them out when they are screaming and crying, what that does is it teaches that puppo that that they are able to do whatever they want and get away with whatever they want when they scream and cry. So don't give in to that behavior. Only let your dog out of the crate when they stop screaming and crying. That's the kind of behavior you want to reward. Also remember, if you have a small husky, get a smaller cage. If you have a bigger husky, get a bigger cage. We use about a 41 inch crate. That's the size we use for both Gila and Britney Spears. Now, those are the tips I have for you when it comes to training a rescue husky. There are a bunch of other tips. We couldn't fit them all into this one today, but we're gonna have a couple more rescue husky videos coming your way. We're super passionate about rescue animals, especially rescue Siberian husky. 
Turkish, and we wanted to help you guys out as much as possible. If you guys have anything you want to add or say, please leave it in the comments below. We really hope you enjoyed. We really appreciate the support as always. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you don't miss any Puppo episodes, and be sure to visit our Facebook and our Instagram, all linked in that sweet, sweet description below. All right, guys, we will see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yup, whatever we make. Peace! <laughs>